Hi there. Uh, today, we're talking with Ethan Kaplan and Laura Ramirez about finding purpose and calling as students move through college and uh, even thinking ahead to their lives after college, graduate school, uh, professional lives, etc. Uh, Ethan, you came to Drury from Chicago, Illinois, and Laura, you came to Drury from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Um, you both graduated in 2018 and uh, now live and work in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, I wanted to ask today how you found or created the path you're on uh, today. Uh, start with Ethan. So I think um, finding and, and creating the path, um, it's, it's, it's hard to kind of start off the bat and say that it was a very defined path. Um, I came to Drury um, initially on a cross-country scholarship. And I think if you had asked freshman year me, what they were going to be doing for five years. Um, it, the first answer would have been cross country and the second answer would have been, well, I'm also enrolled in these architecture courses and um, I might be doing that as well. Um, needless to say, I think by my second year, I was kind of fully invested in architecture. Um, and I think more and more as at my career through the Hammond School of Architecture, it became diving deeper into um, the discipline and the study of architecture um, to where on graduating, at least uh, it all, had almost flipped where running was kind of the, the afterthought and, and architecture was the thing that um, I obviously uh, left with the degree with. <laughs> And I think then coming down here to Arkansas, it's really been about defining, um, defining for myself what it is my affinities are and those things that, that interest me. And I think Prior to this, the way I, I was thinking about that idea of path is really kind of figuring out what it is you want to be a student of. Because I think if you're always looking for these opportunities to learn and always looking for these opportunities to grow, the path kind of starts to form itself. And the decisions and moments along those path, along that path, um, start to have, you, you start to realize their significance in the way that you become more focused on the things that it is you want to do and the things that you want to learn. Um, I think I was reading somewhere that, you know, as uh, adults, you know, you, you feel like time is going by faster. And this one psychologist was attributing that to when you're younger, you're taking in so much information that it gives the sense that a day turns into what feels like a week or a week feels like a year. Whereas as you grow up, you're taking in and learning less and less. So the repetition and the um, sort of consistency is what makes things feel like they're moving fast. I think in defining a path, it's, it's critical that you, you find those things and those affinities that really cause you to slow down in a way that you can dive into and learn more from. And that will kind of be what I think in the end guides you through um, a sort of what I'm sure in hindsight will look like an, an overarching theme. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, what, about, what about you, Laura? Well, I guess my path was a little bit less focused. <laughs> um, I started when I was a kid, I really loved creating things and making and painting and drawing and all of those creative um, mediums, I guess. Um, so I really wanted to be a fashion designer at first. 
I really love fashion. I really love clothes. I wanted to explore the fabrics and all that. And then as I grew up, it um, expanded my mind to more of spatial qualities. So then I wanted to be an interior designer. So I followed that for a while. I even did an internship in high school for it. Um, and actually in that internship, I think was one of the moments that set your path to another like totally different um, career or journey. Um, I met this person in the interior design firm and she said, you actually should do architecture because you could do interior design within architecture by creating the spaces yourself. And that opened a whole new idea for me that um, you could be a designer on many different levels. So I followed the, that path, I guess, and uh, applied for architecture school. Uh, the one thing I knew I wanted to study abroad, so I focused uh, most of my time on that. And I got accepted to Drury, so I came there. And at Drury, thankfully, it's a liberal arts school, so I got exposed to so many different things. Um, you have to take classes in all different uh, categories. So I got to take Buddhism classes and, um, I don't know, old ceramics and stuff that are just not solely architecture. And I think that I'm always looking for a way of exploring new things because in, in one way or another, they're going to influence what you're doing at some point. Um, whereas you don't see it now, maybe it'll definitely find its way later. Um, and I guess in school, I was always seeking new opportunities. So it's like you're climbing a wall and like you see this open spot and then you go there and then you go to the other spot to climb a little bit higher. So seeking the opportunities and then going for it uh, really opened up a lot of things for me and I think got me to where I am today. Um, meeting different kinds of people that will like expand your view of the world and opinions obviously not meeting the same kind of people all the time really helps on that. Um, and I always wanted to be a designer, so I always worked towards that. But at the same time, I like to explore different things. Like now I'm trying to learn how to sew. <laughs> so I went back to my original thoughts of fashion design. Um, and yeah, just following that um, drive and curiosity to learn and go farther and not just get stuck in the things you know that really shapes your path so i guess the short version is i didn't really create my path i just followed and shaped it along the way uh, that's wonderful that's wonderful thank you both i mean it, it it seems to me that there's a perhaps not an overarching plan always but there's certain goals and certain wishes and desires but there's also uh, um, uh, the the recognition that you kind of let life show you the way at the same time and the um, I would say that uh, it seems like both of you found a way to sort of you know intertwine those two yeah I mean you have to be open to adjusting your plan because if this past few months have taught us anything <laughs> Things just don't work out the way you want them sometimes. So you just have to adjust and be ready to land on your feet or, you know, underneath sometimes and then get up. <laughs> but Absolutely. just have to do it. Be ready for good times for, for, and for pandemics. Right? Yeah. Cool. And I, I think it's just key, almost more key than knowing where you want to be in the future is, I think, knowing what it is that you want because then as those kind of um, events of significance come up um, it really allows you to um, appreciate the significance of those moments and then also find the the opportunities in in those um, especially i think um, that was certainly our case in in coming down to arkansas i mean yeah. there were uh, the right opportunities and it's I think only led to better things since being down here. Yeah. Well that's wonderful. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm sure the students will uh, appreciate this uh, uh, very much as they um, give them food for thought as they 
try to uh, plan or find uh, uh, their way uh, through college and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.